Well, the teacher is now much more of an enabler. They have to make sure the students can see where they fit. And it's in the UK, for a long time, we've had a big problem trying to get girls to consider that they should get a role in the STEM industry, science, technology, engineering and maths. This has been going on for many, many years. It's not recent, but we're making absolutely no progress. For example, when I was a teacher in the 1980s, we had approximately 20% of the students taking a physics qualification at age 18 were female, 20%. Now we are exactly at 20%. We have not improved. And people have put a huge amount of time, effort and money into this with no impact. So actually we're trying a new approach and this is something that WISE has been working on and I want to tell you a bit about it because I think it's really rather interesting. It works on the basis of the way that young people in their teenage years begin to create their own idea of their self-identity. And there's a lot of research out there and what it says is on average girls are more likely to think of themselves and who they are in terms of adjectives. I'm friendly, I'm helpful, I'm organised. Boys in general, will more often think about themselves in terms of what they do. I'm good at running, I'm in charge of the scouts, whatever it happens to be. Now, there's a lot of overlap, but the research shows broadly that's the way it goes. And the theory is it's related to the way that you've been praised as a child. Boys are praised for what they do, girls are praised for who they are. Now, this is the um, revolutionary bit. Whenever we try to go into a school and say to the young people, really science is a great thing to do, it's fascinating, exciting, it does you know, important things, the girls will say yes, I can see, exciting, important, I'm good at it, not for people like me. And the reason is this, whenever we talk about science and scientists and what science and engineering does, we only ever use the verbs. We create satellites, we build bridges, we never talk about the sort of people who work well in these environments. So what we have done in, uh, in WISE is we produced a particular resource that schools can use for free. It's on the website that you'll link to. And the girls do a little quiz. They choose adjectives that they say describe them and comparing the adjectives that they've chosen, they're then mapped onto different roles. Now this is a, a very small flyer, but you can see the whole thing online. But basically what it's saying is we need lots of different people in STEM businesses to make them work. Everything from, um, if you like, the, the uh, engineer, the developer, and the manager, but we also need the entrepreneur, and we need the trainer, and we need the communicator. And what we're saying is we need different types of people. So the role of the teacher really is to allow the students to engage with wherever they'll fit in the world according to the type of person they are. Because only if they fit in will they actually be able to be happy and successful in their role. So we have to move away from what can you do to actually what type of person are you and where does that fit you? Where are people like you happy and successful already? And we've been trialling this. Um, 300 girls have trialled it and they've all been very positive and 80 adults trialled it for me and they said it was scarily accurate in predicting the job they're doing. So to me, if the teachers can incorporate this, I think it'll help a lot in preparing young people to find out where they're going to fit in the new world.